Hello, Dice Stormers. Welcome to uh, another Dice Stormers live stream. Hello, hello. How are you all going? Good to have you here, Nathan. My name is Derek. Um, we've had a really interesting weekend watching all of the things that everything that has been going on with the D&D live role with Advantage uh, event over in America. All over the world, really. All over it? the world, but, you know... They do it on American time, so... They, uh, tell me about it. They, <laughs> they definitely do it on American time. But you yeah. were up at 3 a.m.? No, well, I, I, I was up for 2, 2 a.m., right. then waited till 2.30, and then when I got there, it was very, very, very early. Hello, Vanderhoek. Good to see you on there. Good morning. Uh, or wherever, whatever time, or whatever it, time is, it is. Whatever time it is for you. Um, and, yeah, so... It's it's been it's been a lot of fun, and and we were given this beautiful mug, this dwarven mug from Wizards of the Coast, to and and a whole bunch of ingredients I, to make a apple cider kind of. Just drink. glad it's not green, hey. It's, you know when you when you when you work with a green screen and you and you you don't you don't think about it before you you get before somewhere. you get dressed <laughs> and and now my gelatinous cube on my. D and D Beyond T-shirt is actually see-through. Oh, it's just three AM in Denmark. Oh, oh. Well, I'm, I'm. You know what? You what? Now, you now understand. You now understand my my pain. <laughs> what are you doing up at three AM, my good man? D and D apparently just watching that. So that's very smart. But yeah, uh. no, like um. So yeah, we got given this this beautiful little mug here, which is really really fantastic, and we got to watch some of the new stuff that came out with. Roll with advantage, which was a lot of fun. So this is our sort of recap of the event, and and we're going to uh, go through the things, the major announcements that we thought were really cool, but we're also going to give away a whole bunch of stuff at the end of this video. So stick around for the end, and you'll get the instructions on what we need to what we need you to do in order to go into the drawing for a a very special uh, event. Ooh, that sounds a bit exciting. Mm, yes, I was, um, I was quite happy about that. Okay, so what happened? What happened? Well. First of all, we had whoops, not that one. No, we got uh, we got the Baldur's Gate announcement. Yeah, that was good. So you I, stayed up for this. Yeah, well, that well, yeah, didn't go to sleep. So it's, it, was, okay. it was it was it was it was more of I felt of a, of a longer extended evening than it was a waking up early. Okay. Um, Baldur's Gate, 3, yeah, that was real good. Um, we had a lot of um, as I'm sure some of you guys in the chat know, we had a lot of tadpole moments. Um, where so basically every it's it was surprisingly like a D and D game like mm. every like you roll dice so when you came to an encounter you go along and say I want to intimidate them you get to roll the dice and it gives you a difficulty and then a modifier and all that kind of stuff yeah and it, it did feel like they were trying to break out of what a computer game you know is usually and and trying make trying to make it m a bit more like the. The, the experience at a the best part at was, the table. The best part was is that it was so like experience at the table where it's just like, oh, I want to do this, and it's just like I rolled a four. <laughs> awesome. That that <laughs> that that did it work. And but they had this um because you have the well, I'll, we're going to watch the trailer in a second. We're gonna, you're going to watch for the first time. Okay, because so I've been keeping myself away. Oh, so you'll get to you'll get to get a live reaction of um Derek loving this trailer. But essentially, you and you're not going to understand this, but the chat will. You got to tadpole your way out of different situations, right. and and it's kind of like it, it. The guy, it was very funny. Like, can I be honest? I love the guy yeah. who was doing it, the producer, the, because you knew it was a real producer, the Swedish guy. So, so you know, you know when you because we've both worked in the game industry, right? So you know, you know when you're doing a demo, right? Oh yeah, and the, and it's just not going quite right. So there was a moment where the, there was a crash. There was a moment no where kidding. he's just like. Well, that's never happened. I mean, and it's in development, so yeah. it's bound to crash at some point. But my favorite thing was he's just like, you know, you know how you get the moment where it's just like, well, 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 that's never happened that way. And so there was there were many moments of like, oh, well, if I get this guy and I go through here, and now I'm running a bit behind, so I'm going to speed up, which means I'm going to make more mistakes. And right. now my guy's on the floor, and now I've got to climb up the ladder. And I was just like. I love you to death because you know you've got very very little time to be able to do this and you're rushing through and, it. So. And it's live. Oh, so. and, and and sometimes you would you know sometimes you would do a pre-recorded of that, but like it was hundred percent live yeah. and it was hundred percent awesome. But yeah, like All right. my other favorite thing is, and if I may say one thing, the amount of blood in this game mm. is astronomical. Okay, it's so cool. You go like this. Like, it's not PC. Oh, well, it's not even. I, I don't think accurate to the amount of blood in a person because there was one point where he goes along and he jumps across the the the, the river the, the the like this this kind of like gap in the the map like a like a big valley area uh -huh. so he goes on and says I can do a super jump and I'm like oh, okay cool then he jumps and he misses the landing and he lands and just goes 
boom, and just like probably six feet squared. So, so the shiny of blood type of just blood shower. Just on the ground. And he's just like, oh, no, it's okay. And then he just stands up. And I'm like, you just literally lost like... <laughs> About eight liters of blood on the ground. Are, are, are you are you okay? Do you yeah. do you want to do you want a short rest? <laughs> like it was that that made me this smart. Perfect. But anyway, we're gonna watch the video now. Right. Um, so you should be able to hear that coming through. If it's too loud and deafens you, just let me know. But we vials will... of red paint, according to Vanderhoff. Interesting. Oh it, yeah, we, we we in the chat we made this thing. It's just like oh you hit him in the paint spot, so you go along and just like and just like. <laughs> Because, like, every time somebody would... There was one where um, a guy got hit by the magic missile. Yeah. And the magic missile, he's just like, magic missile! And the guy just goes along and goes, Ugh, and gets a little bit of damage. But, like, literally behind him, like, a freaking... The wall <laughs> and got covered with blood. And as it, I understand it, magic missile is like a magic thing and it doesn't yeah. cut you or... Oh, no, it cuts you real bad. Okay. Don't... One thing we learned, you don't mess with people with tadpoles in their head because they will just bleed you... You just bleed out. Bleed damage is... Is proper damage. All right, All right let's see. Let's, let's see this video. Let's go into this one. So, all right, and I'm just going to make sure that we're going to be coming through here. We are good. Here we go. Larian. Okay, I'm getting. Oh, there's a brain up the top. I'm getting a lithid vibes. They're not nice people. Uh, pods are bad news. Yeah. No, I'm I am not I am not okay with anything that happens in this trailer, by the way. I'm just putting that out there. You know he could have walked in, but you he know chose not when it. you're too powerful to even walk somewhere. Uh, um <laughs> some unrelated reason I'm just going to have to turn away for a second that's a gith yankee or gith Serai or I yeah. never tell the time yeah that's the, you're right that's I, I had no idea who, yeah oh here's the tadpoles charming ah oh, creepy alien things go in your ear does it go in oh, your ear your ear that would be the more humane way how, how would how what is the most horrifying thing you could think of, Derek? Probably the nose. Oh no, the nose. That's 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 easy mode. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. I love how we had the close up of that. Yeah, I'm that not was a, just delightful. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, and you now, want to know? Now yeah. is coming to do us. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting a whole creepy alien vibe with it here. And now we are the... Yeah, I like that. It's now your turn. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'd like to get the F out of there, please. <laughs> oh. Is it? Is that a dead dude? Yeah, there's a couple of dead dudes. But the thing is, don't they... Aren't they solitary unless they're like... like the, you, ne you never, you never see them in groups. Well, like maybe. They're, they're not a community. I thought there was like. A oh, in the sky! Oh, I'm getting spell gemma vibes now. going to go along and roll a 20 and do much to a flying octopus ship. Oh,
these are all Githyanki, right? on the trailer oh that's so good yeah that is so that is Baldur's Gate 3 that looks real real good okay so so that's something that we have to look forward to when when is that coming out is it did they mention on the stream? no but they, they, like it's soon like I think they're they're in alpha or not alpha or like they're doing some beta releases or something like that so yeah yeah. So what what do you think about that? What's your what's your I mean if that's the setup that you as a PC start the game by inf being infected by a tadpole yeah. toothy thing yeah. in the in the trailer, that's pretty cool. Can I say I'm never going to complain about a start of like you start in a tavern? Yeah. Um <laughs> that's Yeah, you start as the prisoner on an illithid spacefaring nope. ship. No. You know know what? You know what? I'm I'm saying no to tap holes and no to things going in my eyes. No, that is, that is. All right. Well, let's let's move on. Um, but because yeah. we do need to, we the, do need to get through some of the other announcements. So, um, obviously the the big one that they announced uh, directly after you went to bed was Icewind Dale. Well, Ryan yeah, technical difficulties. That was. A, I was like, I like that. I'm like leading all the way up. And then nope, not gonna work. <laughs> that was fun. So Icewind Dale. Um, I predicted it quite quite well i thought it i i predicted that they were going to do something in the snow yep and i predicted they might have something to do with drizzt and bruno and all of those people mm -hmm. icewind dale is the setting so they've obviously got lots of details about about that section of the forgotten realms and that looks really really good um the map looks amazing and i i thought um, the other thing that they they indicated about this adventure is that it's got a quite of a horror vibe. A horror and you vibe. were talking about how you don't think D&D &D does horror very well. And I thought that was an interesting kind of thing that they they um, added to to this. So the Frost Maiden, you can see her there. That's one of her forms, that kind of that hulking owlbear, snowy owlbear kind of vibe. And um, like when, they I did saw, when I saw this image, it was just like, I'm like, is that an owlbear? And you're like, yep. And it's like, but like scary owlbear. It's scary like, owlbear. Yep, like, yes. scary owlbear. That's like they usually look really cuddly and cute, but no, this this one looks pretty nasty. Um, and she has a number of different uh, forms and they also had some, I think, some miniatures that show some of her other forms over the over the course of the weekend. They unveiled some of the, the new minis that are coming out. Mm. So she does look like a really scary Cthulhu-esque kind of send you insane kind of monster. So well, yeah, we've just got Vanderhoof said. What did he say? Chris Perkins said it was horror, not gothic horror. So that's yeah, I, I, I yeah. And the thing is, like, yeah, that's scary. Can I be honest? An owlbear is not a normal thing. Like it's scary on its own. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point it out there that like yeah, it's it's uh it's yeah yeah. All right. She's she, 
That is that is looking scary. And yeah, like, um, is that a hyena in the background? Like, I a, think it's a wolf uh, or a, or a um, a bear. I can't remember which. Uh, okay. Um, so it looks it looks really cool. So that's going to be coming out in September, September the fifteenth, oh, I think. I want to play it. And I play um, it now. Uh, the Dice Stormers obviously will be lobbying for a a pre release copy so that we can play it on day one and, oh, and just see how it goes. That's so good. So. But here's a th- oh yeah. Here Look, can I just say, like yeah, normal cover is good, but that oh that special cover. Yeah. Oh. Yep, so that's the cover, the first one there that will be available from your friendly local game shop and the other one will be the regular one that goes out to all the other games. Yeah, shops. see, it, it's like a wolf thing, isn't it? It's, it's... Do you know what? See, I always have a problem with the snow. I find snow yeah. to be like... Snow is just like so uncomfortable. Like, I like to... Like, I can deal with rain. I can deal with like like dark settings. Something that I can relate to, but like snow coal and it's just like would you like to rest it's like haha no rest for you well, you it, are stuck outside we are right in the middle of uh, of winter maybe we should maybe we should immerse the dice stormers in the the <laughs> the fr- the vibe of the icewind dale and, can, can and just, go to the snow and and role play this game can i just say that would be the funniest role playing ever <laughs> it's just like okay so everyone's sitting outside you're like, oh, i'm really cold it's like i can't even <laughs> roll the dice it's so freaking cold it's just like oh well, so die. one of the things that they talked about the Icewind Dale is your culinary options are limited. So there's not a lot of things to eat in the snow and ice. Are you hungry? Well, <laughs> you can eat Derek's character right. or Nathan's character because um, they died and that's all you have left to eat. And I think there's Yay. there's there's an evidence of, of somebody there who, who didn't. Like, can I be honest? It looks like potentially looks, be someone's food. It looks like Hodor. If I was going to be dreaded, like it's going to be like Hodor. Hodor. It's like, I don't want so one of the other things they talked about on the stream was the Hero's Feast, and uh, it's a cookbook of D and D type <gasps> things. And I obviously, we, I we had a. I didn't see this. It's a, you, like, you didn't see honest, this. Yeah. Yes, it's a cookbook for D and D. So all of the things <gasps> you can make with real world ingredients, and uh, you can you can create them. They've got everything in there. They've got entrees. They've got desserts. They've got cocktails. Um, yeah, it all looks really cool. Hang on, hang on. So, uh, we haven't spoken about this. No, before. you haven't spoken about this. When thing. are we going to do the D and D cooking stream? I think we should do it um, when we go to the snowy mountains and and uh, immersively role play in the snow. Oh, I am so down for this. <laughs> I can I say I love like there's a um there's a guy there's a guy on YouTube who um I know he does a command cast. He's like a magic a, a magic magic show mm. and he does cooking yeah and like he tries to do like cooking of theme stuff from games and everything like that oh yeah oh I'm you're, so, you're down for this here's the thing i can't cook i'm just like gonna bl- right. put out put out a blanket statement well, that you i and I, you and i manage the cider fairly well i mean can cooking I just, a roast boar can't be that much harder can, surely can i can i just say essentially what we did was we put apple apple juice on a stove <laughs> And we threw stuff in, yeah. And then we stuff that looked like bark. And then we and then we half poured it into the glasses because it, it kind of like fell on. Kind of the, fell onto the table, and yeah, y- yeah. Hey, I'm glad you didn't add that to the video because that was a bit embarrassing. No, it, it was very. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I no, you know what? I really liked the video. I liked them that we were like, and it just appeared in front <laughs> yeah. of us. It was great. Okay, so um, then after that, we had a couple of panels with the people working on the the comic books. So at the spine of the end, at the spine of the world, which is obviously where the uh, the Icewind Dale adventures are set, that looked really cool. Um, and then the other thing that we did was uh, we had an interview with all the people who'd worked on the Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons comic book. Okay, can I just say this? As as an image, I mean, just, oh, it's just it's 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 it reminds me of the TV show. It, it's like, does, it, lit- it literally is the TV it's show. So the TV show, especially um, that wizard's outfit is just yeah, and also the the Paladin. A freaking okay. I'm just going to point out right. We got a bard right. Yep, swinging his instrument. He does look like he's trying to bash someone with it. Yeah, but uh, just look at his hilt right. Like just look at the hilt. Like there's a, there's a, there's a natural. He has an actual. He has a sword, <laughs> but he chose not to. Yeah, he was like, you know what. I, this is a real banger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my, um, I'm gonna use my instrument, which earns me all my money and is my only means of, of like really kind of doing anything in the game because right. without music, I'm dead. 
And he's like, you know what? I'll use this as a weapon and not my sword. So <laughs> that's the kind of dedication that all bards have. And as a bard myself, in in some of my games, oh. I, I I approve. Vanderhoff Vanderhoff wants to learn to knit and knit socks for us to keep us warm. Oh, in be so in the good. snow. Oh, um, so I- yes. Um, th- this was a really interesting interview just because Jim Zub is amazing um, and I'm, I think that Jim there is Zub, no that? end to that man's talent. I mean, he's written adventures, he's he's written comic books. I, I just think he's a, a, a fantastically a, amazing individual. So. It's an awesome name. I know. Like, if you're going to be named anything, Jim is Zub. Like- the shortest name in the world, right? Uh, and Zub clearly loves D and D. Yes, he's he's a, he's a very big D and huge D and D fan. So but, oh. now we wanted to talk a little bit a little bit about, about some of the amazing uh, figures that they they previewed. The Sapphire Dragon looks astonishing, and um, they also had uh, the Crafting Muse. So V demoed. This, I don't know if she had a hand in designing it or, or making it. She clearly has her own YouTube channel where she does a whole bunch of, uh, you know, works on miniatures and, and how-to guides, and she's incredibly talented. And um, uh, she showed off this this fantastic dragon, uh, metallic I, dragon. Before you pass on, yeah, I just don't want to pass over this for one mm. second. How do you make a dragon scarier? It's like, you know what? Let's cover the entire dragon with armor. Yeah. Like, let's... And let's have that armor glow yeah. from underneath. Yeah. And it's just like, haha. So you thought you had a weak spot. Like it's like, I up your dragon with a dragon in full plate uh, plate mail. Yeah. And it's just like, huh. So a sapphire dragon, I don't know what this is. Um I can't remember the name that they called it on the on the on the screen. I'm just calling it the flying tank. Yeah. And we're just I'm just gonna go with the flying tank. It's it's the Batmobile Look, of got, dragons. See if it got like spikes on the wings. Yeah. Yeah, and holes in the wings too, which which makes me think it's kind of a plate mail dragon is another good good name for it. So, yeah, so check out the Crafting Muse's video stream. I think I think she's pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, she, that thing's yeah, scary as well. Yeah. You know, you know, you're not like yeah, like if you see this at like level three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope, you got to yeah. nope the hell out of there. Forget that's- about it. Uh, all right, so that's that's come up sort of some of the. Uh, the the very highlights of the weekend that we really enjoyed, um, but I wanted to I reached out to D and D Beyond, oh, um, the, the, that app that makes that, that makes creating a character like two seconds too easy. too easy. <laughs> Do you know what? Can I just say I'm just going to put out this is I didn't even talk to you about it. D and D Beyond is the best fucking app in the world. Like <laughs> I just went like the amount of times where I'm just like oh no we're playing a game and I'm just like randomized character at this level and I'm like cha-ching zero, zero preparation it yeah can, yes. zero preparation and also when you go along and when you're DMing it's just like oh no I need an encounter you're like um, yeah. encounter at this level done and it's yeah. just like here it is and it's just like oh thank goodness they're <laughs> adding new features all the time they've so got good. the dice roller now uh, which you know you can click on any of your stats or your weapons and it'll roll all the dice for you and tell you if you hit or all of that sort of stuff so it's it's very very cool um, looking forward to see what they come out with, but anyway, yeah, whilst, sorry, yeah. yeah. So, so whilst they had COVID going on, whilst COVID was happening, uh, COVID they, is still happening. It is still it's happening, and it's and it's a shame because they had the the first episode, the first thing from Tales of the Yawning Portal, which is the Sunless Citadel, which is one of my favorite articles of all time, my favorite modules of all time. They had that for free. And that's why I did those how-to videos, yeah, you know, yeah, teaching yeah. teaching DMs how the you know what are the sort of the, the pitfalls and things to watch out for when DMing the the Sunless Citadel. Mm. Um, and I I did the second video and said it's free now on on D and D Beyond, and they said and somebody in the comments said actually it's not anymore. It's it's not free, and they've oh. taken that that ability away. And I was like, that's really sad. So I reached out to the guys at D and D Beyond and said can I give away 10 copies of The Sunless Citadel? And those wonderful people said no. <laughs> and Hang on, I'm confused. <laughs> Go, continue on, but yeah, I'm confused. So they, they said no. So they said no, um, and they said what, it's going to be really hard for us to cut out The Sunless Citadel from The Yawning Portal and give that away. So why don't you just give away 10 copies of The Yawning Portal, the yep. whole thing, and you for said, free. and you said, and I said that is a better deal. Yes, so, I, I'm going to go with yes. So we've got 
10 copies of this to give away. Mm. And um, what you need to do is there's three things that you need to do in the YouTube video that will be that will come up after this. And for all those in Twitch, we'll make sure that you will link you all we'll, the... We'll link the video down below. And um, I'm not a DM. I asked the missus if she's planning on running it. Uh, sh so she, did, she didn't, so I watched the videos. Okay, cool. Yeah, good work. So when this goes on YouTube, put a comment in the video, com uh, in the video comments with your famous favourite NPC from the Sunless Citadel. Um, okay, is there... Okay, there's... There's a lot of options. Oh, did, there, can I just say, drunk goblin number one, <laughs> um, when you walk in, that's stepping on the all the stepping on the, on the thing. Stepping on that. Is he an NPC or is he an enemy? I, I, uh, Look, you guys turned him into a friend. Um, I think they made some some very good mead I for think, you. I think they made a mistake goblin by not having him be the like one of the major characters. Goblin the, foot mead. Oh, that's. Um, and bonus points if you can if you can put in the in the comments the bad guy at the end. Um, of the module. So his name is something the something. I don't want his name. I want his title as well. You something know, like Kermit the Frog or, you know. <laughs> Let's not talk about the ultimate big bad, <laughs> Kermit Kermit the Frog. Or Hillary the dude who climbed Everest first. Oh. You thought oh. that was going to be a political statement. No, I did. I did. I, 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 I turned you, it. you twisted it on Switched. me. Do you know what you did? You got it? I got it. You I spun it. Spun it. And then you pushed it towards and then to I put an it Everest. on the highest mountain in the world, and you and you connected it with the other stuff as well. That's, <laughs> right. That was very that was very clever. It is not easy being green in plain view. That's very true. Um, <laughs> you need to like this video oh, on so. on YouTube. Please like the video because that's the way that I'm going to be able to sort the, uh, you know, to sort the winners, and and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the Dice Stormers um, uh, video channel. So. Um, that's what you need to do. We're going to give away 10 copies. It ends on the 19th of July and we will uh, we will do the drawing then. And the heater astronomically just turns just on half one. It turns itself on. It's hmm. very, it was very exciting. But you can't hear it because of our lovely compression ooh, mics. Ooh. Yeah, they're very cool. Dynamic mics. So compression you mics, you would hear it. Uh, that's right. Oh, so this is a dynamic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair very, enough. They're very fun. So uh, that is it. That is our stream. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to sit here and answer a few of the questions, have a chat with everybody in the thingo. But to our YouTube viewers, thank you very much. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed D&D &D Live because I, I really, really enjoyed it. Like yeah. I thought for, for something that – because let's be honest, nobody expected like the whole COVID thing and all that kind of stuff. No. And to be able to kind of like go along and – And pivot that quickly. This was due to come out. The the D and D live thing was supposed to happen in March, uh, mm. May, I believe. So they've cancelled it. Uh, they've quickly turned around and and did this D and D live, um, and they had you know live streaming to people's homes and and uh, a lot of a lot of games were played over the weekend using the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. There's a really good game that they played um, with Felicia Day and a bunch of people who'd never played D and D before. And I thought that was that was really cool because it sort of explained all of the things. Um, very nicely. Did, did they kill rats? Or was it was it a, like a low like, level, or was it a? Um, there, there was a very nice. I mean, it does because saying you're a level seventeen wizard is not really, I think, the most like. <laughs> there was a lovely thing where um, they said uh, where uh, Chris Perkins was was DMing, and he was like, "Okay, so um, so you have angered this person so much with your incessant questions." That the, the next thing that happens now in D and D is something that we call initiative. <laughs> like, oh my goodness! You've hit the initiative cause for being annoying. That's right. Uh, wh so, yeah. What's the initiative cause? Oh, you roll initiative. <laughs> but doesn't that? Yep, they're going to hit you. Go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you beat them? Well, they didn't hit you as hard as you thought. So a uh, big thank you to uh, Wizards, of the, Wizards of the Coast for giving us this this lovely mug and allowing us to enjoy. And giving us a heads up on on the stream and allowing us to kind of interact with it. That was that was good fun. All right. Well, YouTube, thank you very much. Make sure you enter the competition below. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. You know what to do. Hit. I'll hit the bell. Hit the do you bell. Know, you do I need like, to hit the bell. I like that when people are like they're, they're more like smash. The, it, it was first like click the like button. Now it's like smash the like button. Yep. I don't know what the next like just just. Just run into that. Just blow it, incinerate it. Barrel roll into that yeah. thing. <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys. Cool. Thank you all for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.